Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Remember, I do have some more giveaways going on throughout the month of December, but they're hidden within the videos, so you have to watch them to find out how to enter and win. Today though, I am so excited to get to share Kizuna Box with you again. This is a lifestyle subscription that comes all the way from Japan. That said, they were unable to ship internationally, at least to the US for several months, but they are shipping again. It's just that it's now $20, so it does make it a little bit pricey for me and my budget. The box itself is $34.99 plus that 20, so it comes out to $54.99, but they are so kind with their customer service, and I was just really excited to get one more box before the end of the year. I might just kind of do this as a one-off when I see an upcoming theme that I think that I will enjoy, so I wind up doing it every couple of months. We'll just have to see how the new year goes, but let's go ahead and get into this box. It always comes in an outer mailer, very well packaged and protected, and then I have this nice box in here, and I already went ahead and cut the seal so that we could get into it and see all of the goodies that we get inside. I love all of the little ceramic pieces that I've received in past Kazuna boxes. I like having all my little mismatched uh, snack bowls in my cupboard. It's just so fun. They do a really nice job with their little product pamphlet and sometimes the translation is a little bit quirky but I think that just kind of adds to the experience. So it says that our December box has the theme of Engi Mono or the good luck symbol box and I think we can all use some good luck moving into the new year. Dear subscriber, thank you for subscribing to Kazuna Box. The theme for this December box is Engimono, good luck symbol. In Japan, we are most busy and fun for the period of the year in the year end and new year. In December, we do Osuji, clean up everywhere, and the cleaning is over. Our house will be decorated with special item to welcome the new year. For example, a lease made of straw is called Shime Kazari. Next, exchange the lucky charms that were decorated a year ago for new ones because we think the power of lucky charm is thought to run out in a year. On the time zone sandwiching the midnight of December 31st, the temples around Japan ring Joyoya uh, no Kane. People eat Toshi Toshi Soba buckwheat noodles on December 31st, and I love this habit. We will celebrate the new morning. It is a new year. As one of the fun new year, children receive special money called Otoshi Dama, the New Year's monetary gift. It is a happy time. Now, one, what is Engimono? There are various symbols of Japan that have been considered for centuries as catcher of luck and happiness, wealth, good fortune, and more. In Japanese, small items representing said symbols are called engimono. For example, hyotan, which is a gourd, maneki neko, the beckoning cat, love the beckoning cat, or Japanese zodiac of the year. This year is the ushi or ox. Many of them are familiar with Japanese folk crafts. With these lucky charms by your side, we hope you'll be more ready to tackle the challenges and achieve your goals for this new year. Wishing you happiness in 2021. So, uh, uh, again, some of that I kind of like went ahead and made the corrections as I was reading it, but I just again think it is so charming that they give us this little note and it looks like we got a bunch of different items this time, 11 different items, and it does say that the total retail price of this box, I love that they gave us that, is $68, so you're definitely getting your money's worth, and of course just the whole experience of getting a box that is shipped internationally I think is so much fun. So right on top I just have some tissue paper, a little Kizuna box sticker. I'm trying to be delicate with things. Um, I also think it's really fun whenever we get things that are shipped internationally that have uh, foreign newspapers. So just kind of a fun, I don't necessarily save it. I just like, I think again, it adds to the experience. I think I've gotten a couple of pieces from Globin that had some like uh, newspaper from another country. So the first thing I am seeing, of course, my eye always goes to the edible thing is it looks like we got some cup of noodles here, some like ramen and I'm totally into it. It probably says something about good luck here, but I love these. They're such a great, easy treat 
date. Uh, so let me see if it actually says anything. It says this is the Ace Cook Low Salt Shrimp Soba. So they wanted to give us some soba noodles because that is something that you do for the new year. Um, and it just tells us that it's buckwheat noodles and it just says how to eat it. You open the package and pour the boiled water in there and wait three minutes. So perfect. I love that. I'm so excited to have that. Um, all right, let's see what else. Oh, they actually, when you do review them on Instagram or on YouTube, will actually send you a little extra gift in your next box. And I think it's so sweet that they remembered from months ago, the last time I opened it. So it has a little sticky note on there with some washi tape that says it's for reviewing them. And it's this lovely little like postcard. So that is so pretty. I'll have to see what it says. I love that there's a little bunny in there, but that's really beautiful. So I love the uh, artwork and stuff that we get from them as well. So lovely little extra. Um, let's see what else we have. It says, thank you for loving Kazuna Box. We prepared a special present with the feeling of thanks for this year. This is a Netsuke, a Japanese strap. So it came in this little thing and then it looks like we've got it in a red envelope. We'll have to open that up. I wonder if this is part of the box itself or if this is just like a little extra that they have included. This is what was like jingling. I heard it in the box and I was like so, so worried that it was going to be uh, something that was broken, but it's just a little like bell. Oh, this is so cute. It does have a little bell and it's got like the ox because it's the year of the ox. So that little guy is in ceramic so cute and then the bells are like wrapped up so let me see if i can pull that off so this little tinkling bell is very powerful i think that is adorable a little charm i might actually hang it on my tree as an ornament i actually have one of those like good luck cats hanging on my tree it's got like a really long tassel on it and it just makes it like a really pretty um ornament and then it looks like it tells us a little bit about uh this being the year of the Ox. So I have to keep all of this together. Again, I love all of the fun packaging and stuff. So let's see if it says anything about that. I'm not seeing it on here. This might be a little extra. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see. It looks like, ooh, we've got some little, some more snack bowls for me. So let me pull that little sticker off. So little nesting bowls. These are made out of plastic, but they kind of have like a uh, imprinted grain of wood on them. And then I love that it's got like, it's supposed to look like a lacquer bowl, right? With that nice deep red inside, but there's kind of these facets on them, which makes them a little bit different. I think those are so cute. Let's see. So this is the Kiko Gata turtle shell pattern. That makes more sense why it's got those facets. It's a soup bowl with a lid. Ah, so you could use it as a little like nesting bowl set or it fits perfectly to keep your soup nice and warm. It says a soup bowl with a lid is one of the tableware for hospitality. In Japan, turtles have been regarded as a symbol of longevity. Therefore, the pattern of the turtle shell is a traditional Japanese auspicious pattern and it is dishwasher safe. I love that they tell us about that with all of the items whether it's dishwasher safe or not. And of course, I love the items that are. All uh, right, let's see. We've got something that's nicely wrapped up in some bubble wrap. So hopefully um, everything came in good order. I think most, I don't think I've ever had any problems with anything coming broken in this box. And again, their customer service, while there is a little bit of a language barrier, is so great. They've always gotten back to me really, really quickly. So I'm sure if there ever was a problem, they would be great about replacing it. I'm trying to be like quick about this, but then at the same time, I always have to be like very careful, right? With the ceramics, but it's so, it's so exciting to get into them and see what we've got. And I'm like kind of searching at the same time on the pamphlet to see if I can figure out which item it is. But I am guessing that this is one of their ceramic pieces. I think they have a snack box too. I think they tried out a just ceramics box and I don't know if they're doing it right now, just again, because of all of the shipping delays. So this is so cute and like kind of different. So look at this. So it looks like it's got like a lotus root like pattern there. I love this like yellow color and just the kind of rustic feel of it. I'm not, you could even use this as a soap dish for like a smaller bar of soap. So that is super duper cute. Let me see exactly what this is. This is the Mino Yaki Renkon Lotus Root Pattern Square Small Plate. A small plate that is easy to use with a calm and natural color. The meaning of Renkon or Lotus Root is hope for hope for a future with good prospects, and it is also dishwasher safe, yay. 
Um, I don't know what this is. At first I didn't realize that it was fish and I thought it was like an angry face. Let's see what this is. I'm very, very interested to see what this big like twine looking thing is. This is a Shime Kazari. Shime Kazari is a traditional lease made of straw. So I think they mean wreath even though they have lease written everything <laughs> everywhere. I think it's a wreath made of straw that is displayed at the entrance on New Year's Day. Set it as the picture of the pamphlet and decorate it at your door. So, okay, I'm not... Oh, Oh, they're saying use it just like you see in the pamphlet. So let me see if I can open this up. How cool. I was, I was wondering when we were reading that like intro letter, what what the heck a lease was. I was like, uh, I, a lease on a, a new life for a good year. So it comes with this separate little paper piece. Again, and I kind of still see it as a face instead of the two fish. And then it just has this wreath. So then you just place this on top and this is your wreath. So that's kind of cool. Again, I can use all the luck that I can get in the new year. And I think that's kind of fun because I had like a fall wreath and then you have your Christmas wreath up. Why not have a Japanese good luck wreath for the new year up? I think that's kind of cool and just kind of like a conversation starter for sure. I guess for me and my uh, mail carrier, who's really the only person that comes to my door these days. All right, let's see something else. I got some more tinkling sounds in some bubble wrap and they even bubble wrapped the packaging, which I appreciate. So the box doesn't come, you know, all torn or like bent on the corners. I feel like Japanese uh, packaging is like on point. It's something to aspire to. So let me see if I can open this up without, again, messing that packaging up because I do like to kind of have everything nice and pristine. Let's see if I can, sounds like it's an actual bell. It is, it's another, it's another ox and it's so cute. And this is definitely gonna be an ornament for a while. So it's like a cowbell on a cow. So look how gorgeous that is. He's so happy. He's got a little smile. This is so like kawaii also. So I love this little ox bell. That is so, so cute. Let's see, I'm gonna put him in that little dish off to the side. This is an Ushi ox ceramic figurine. The Zodiac of Japan is in 2021 is Ushi. It is an Ushi motif ornament of earthenware pottery. So it's made out of ceramic, which is super cool. All right, you guys, we've got some more stuff. Ooh, I it has some like weight to it. I'm guessing this might be another ceramic something. It is, ooh, this is cool, you guys. Use your scissors, Noelle, instead of just ripping, ripping into it, making a mess. Like I said, I'm always like worried. I'm just gonna get so excited that I'm gonna drop the actual item. The other day I was like, getting so excited about pouring myself a glass of wine. I like dropped one of my really nice wine glasses on the ground, it was such a bummer. Um, but you know, you have that moment when you do drop something and you like see it break on the floor and everything like goes in slow motion for a few seconds and then you're just like, take a deep breath because now you get this like cleanup process. It's gonna take a few minutes. That was me the other day. So we're trying to prevent that from happening during an unboxing. So again, we've got everything all wrapped up. You're kind of starting to see some sneak peeks of what it is. This is awesome, love this. So it is a gourd shaped tray, but it has like two sections to it. Super cool. This is a hyotan or gourd shaped plate. The plate with a hyotan motif expresses traditional Japanese culture. It is believed that hyotan will be underwriting illness and disaster on your behalf. It is dishwasher safe. So it's got this gorgeous floral pattern going around the edge. And obviously you can use this with something where you have like a little dipping sauce. It's not a very big wall in between so you can't put a lot of liquid in there but I think this is so perfect you could be really fancy with your like chicken nuggets <laughs> um, but look how pretty I think that is awesome and I just love that it has like a little bit of like symbolism to it as well so very very cool and I love of course that it is dishwasher safe I'm sure like my husband will be like oh is that for my chips and dip and I'll be like no it's for mine it's for mine <laughs> uh, all right you guys we still have like another little layer of things and they always have like the coolest paper shred. It's like very like bird's nest like. So looks like we've got another like red envelope with a little ox on the bottom. So let me see what this guy is. I'm getting like nervous about all of my ceramics kind of resting here on the edge. So it looks like I said, like it's just a couple of envelopes, which I'm sure that you can give some good luck to someone uh, in the form of monetary gifts is what I'm guessing. So these are Ushi Pochibukuro 
envelopes made from minawashi. In Japan, pochi bukuro envelopes are used for children's New Year's monetary gifts or otoshi dama uh, and message card envelopes and other congratulation purposes. Washi is made from traditional recipes. So that is super cool. Very excited to have those. Um, maybe I will send some good luck in the form of, of some monetary gifts to my nieces or something like that. It would be kind of fun. All right, we've got a couple more things to go. Ooh, we got another little snack. I'm not sure what this is maybe it looks like a soup mix let's see let's see if it says what this is this is Nico Yuba and Arika Ariake seaweed soup. Uh, it says Yuba is one of the traditional processed soybean foods, an elegant soup with a slightly yuzu flavor containing Yuba and seaweed. And so you can have it for New Year's and you can put it in your little soup bowl that has the lid. So again, very, very cool. I love that they like kind of matched everything together like that. What else do we have? We have also got a face mask, which is very still useful, even though we've got the vaccine a coming, you guys. We still will be wearing our masks for a little bit longer. Let me see if I can open this guy up. I love the pattern on it. It's really, really pretty. So let's see. That's just some information about it. This is a really nice one, though, because it's got the space where you can put a filter on the inside. It's almost like a little tissue pack holder but look how bright and cheery that is. I've kind of switched to doing more solid patterns, but this will be perfect in the spring, a little pop of color. I do like the pattern though. Let's see if it says anything about this. It says this is a kimono pattern mask in Japan. It is famous to wear kimono for traditional events. Please wear this mask with the kimono pattern and enjoy the atmosphere of the Japanese New Year. It does say that it's 100% cotton and to hand wash only. Uh, let's see what else. I think we've got just a couple more items. So this looks like uh, maybe it's a wrapping cloth. Let's open it up. So let's see. I'm not sure. I think that's a cow I, or an ox. Sorry, I think it's an ox in a house. So super cute. Um, so, oh no, it's like a banner. It's like a like long hanging banner. So here we go. I'll have to find out what those characters actually say, but it's probably something about the new year. And I kind of love the like blue and pink. It's very um, tasty delight, but it's very like fun and festive and then like not traditional Christmas colors. This is a lucky pattern co cotton handkerchief. It's nostalgic and lucky patterned Tenugui Japanese style handkerchief. The lucky pattern is the Ushi or the Ito of 2021 and the Shochiku Bai Pine pl Bamboo Plum. Tenugui can be used in various ways depending on the idea. So I guess you can use it however you would like to use it. And then we have one more thing. I'm looking for my lucky cat because they did say we got a lucky cat and I'm excited about it. Again, they just gave us a nice little like thank you card, note card in there. Here is the lucky cat and it's kind of like that first postcard that I opened up for you. It's almost like on like yellowed paper so it almost looks like vintage but look how sweet he is. I think that would be like lovely if you're so who likes to switch out your wall art how adorable um, and I just you guys know that I love cats even though I don't actually have a cat so finally let's read about this it says this postcard is Maneki Nico the beckoning cat this postcard is popular by lucky symbol Maneko Maneki Neko Maneki Neko means good luck and wealth. So I thought this box was so great. I was so happy to receive it. And like I said, I feel the luck already. I love all of the like ox themes for the new year. So it's kind of like a good new year's box as well. Let me know what you guys thought about this Kizuna box. I love all of the like kitchen items. So that little soup bowl with the lid or like nesting bowls if you want. Um, I love the like gourd shaped one with the two different compartments. And I love, I think my favorite item might be this little ox bell because it's just so adorable and like bright and shiny and happy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me continue opening Kazuna Box on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.